Aloha, beautiful women. Welcome to the Women Unleashed Online Retreat to your very first session. Yay! <laughs> Let's party session. It is today we're doing your um, Women Unleashed journal. And uh, I'm really excited about it. But for the women who are here for the very first time, I just want to welcome you to the retreat. This retreat is about you, right? It's about you hanging out. It's about you taking care of yourself, nurturing yourself, aligning again with what's most important to you. It's about um, awakening your feminine power. It's about unleashing that part of yourself that maybe you might have dimmed a little bit. It's about um, tapping into your creativity. And it's also about um, helping you take action towards what you deeply love. That's what this season is about. So. We're going to um, create a journal today that's going to be all about a space for you to hold your stuff, okay? So imagine the, imagine the journal kind of like as a container, like all the information you're getting from the guides, things that you can, you know, that you're excited about, you can stick inside there. And we, we have, um, have myself today as well as a beloved friend of mine um, and teacher of mine um, to help show you some different options on what you can do to create your journal. So before we go in there, before we look at materials and all those things, I always start every single session with three breaths. And the reason I do this is because I want you to be as present as possible so you can really be open to receive what you're meant to receive today. Whatever knowledge, whatever sentence you hear from what, somebody who's speaking, um, I want you to be ripe for it, right? And I want you to be ready. So if with me, if you just close your eyes for one moment, and anything that has come before this session, anything that's on your mind, any lingering energy, I want you to inhale in, exhale and let that go. Noticing if your mind is turned towards anything to come, anything you might be worried about or thinking about in the future, let's inhale in. Together, exhale and let that go. And our third and final breath, inhaling and smelling at this moment, this time, just us together. And release. And I have the deep pleasure introducing to you our um my fellow session guide um together so i met kat uh it was back in 2012 when we did our color woman training together kat is the um creator create tricks of cosmic smash booking um back in 2012 she started this and so it's really we're gonna you're gonna learn all about it today so you'll learn some different kind of flavors of journal making today but um, Kat, actually, she's got this really cool story. She has been in technology for like a long time, right? So she's been um, in the computer industry for over 50 years as a software designer, all into tech. And then she, decided, she like discovered her artist self at 60, right? And so life hasn't been the same since. And so that's like been her thing, right? And so I'm really excited to introduce you to her, our beloved Kat Geller. Welcome, Kat. Say hi. Hi, everyone. <laughs> oh, it's so good to see you all. Um, it's just great to be back. And thank you, Amber, for allowing Cosmic Smash Booking to breathe into new spaces. I so appreciate this and to be part of other healing as well as our own. Absolutely. So like I mentioned um, when I was talking, Kat Geller is actually who I consider my teacher when it comes to art journaling. Um, she's my first art journaling teacher. Um, she introduced me to cosmic smash booking and I was like, I can totally do it because there was like no pressure. It didn't have to look pretty. In fact, it was fine if it was ugly. It was kind of encouraged, um, which really felt like an easy entry point for me because when I, um, cause I sometimes can get into like wanting things to be perfect. Do you understand? Do you ever feel that way? <laughs> wanting things to be just right. So, um, I'm excited to introduce, um, you know, cosmic smash booking to you if you haven't if you haven't, if you don't know Cosmic Smash Booking yet, if you do, like, there we go, next level, right? So um, what we're going to do today is Kat's going to show you some Cosmic Smash Booking. I'm going to work with the materials I have so that you can really see, like, whatever we're working with is totally good. So here's just what I want to say. We can, let's first go into materials of what to, what to have with you today, and you can pause and grab them if you don't have them yet. They're also below the video. So um, any journal, 
okay, anything will work. Um, lined, unlined, you, you know, whatever you got lying around. I have this right here, which is like a visual journal, watercolor journal. Kat today is going to be working with, you want to hold up what you got, Kat? Let's see here. I'm going to pin you. Hold on. There you go. She's got a composition book today. Uh, if you don't have them in your country, just you want to just look for something that uh, isn't expensive. And ideally, you want to find a book that has been sewn in to help you with your um, keeping the books together. But you can use uh, just about anything uh, to make these books. Um, you know, like I don't have a spiral bound one today. So or I do. I have a spiral bound. I don't have a sewn in one. So whatever you got is totally good. Okay, ladies. So have that. Um, and then just as far as materials today, I've got um, yarn, like <laughs> I have tons of red thread from all the red thread ceremonies I've done. And so I'm like, I'm going to use some of my red thread from ceremonies. Um, and then I just have like, I made a sweater once and I didn't finish, you know, I, I had some leftover yarn. So I have some of this today. Um, I've got pens. I've got some glue. I've got scissors. I've got uh, magazines. So it's like, whatever you have lying around. Kat, I think you're going to be working with paint today. Yeah. Yes. I'm going to be working with paint. Um, one of the things that I've been doing has been using house paint. It's inexpensive. You can get it any other color that you want. Um, you put it into squeeze bottles. It's juicy, inexpensive. That's it. Oh, glitter. I've got glitter. So just whatever you got lying around. Okay. So let's not have the excuse that you don't have the materials. You can do, you can do it with anything. All right. So are we ready to dive in beautiful cat? Um, yeah, let's go for it. Take it away. Just a quick show of what Cosmic Smashbooking is and, and other materials that you can use to make your covers. So for instance, this is one of the books that I uh, made from that beautiful scrapbooking paper. This happened to be, you know, for a time, but you can also use that as well. Here's one that I've used that has more detail on it. This is Plaster of Paris. That I put all those. And then others I've used that I've just lifted the paint off of or just played with the paint and just absolutely played in it. What I want to mention today is that sometimes you'll create a journal like this one that I'm currently working in. And this one in particular, I knew that the cover wasn't finished because these are live, breathing, organic uh, works of art that so that the cover may continue to appear to you as you continue to work through the retreat. Awesome. Okay, so where do, where do we start? Where would you like us to start, Kat? Where I start from is, do you want to go down to the, go down to the page? Are we ready to do that? Yeah. You mean tilt the camera down? I'll tilt the camera down. Let's do it. We're going to tilt the camera down, ladies, so you can see where we're going. Beep, 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 beep. Because <laughs> my computer this way. I'm going to bring you down to my table. Look at these yummy, juicy things that I have here today. I've got my journal. I've got some Mod Podge glue sticks. Markers. I've got frankincense. I, apparently frankincense wants to be here. Oh, that's interesting. I almost picked incense, but I decided I needed something a little more calming. Uh -huh. I've got the magazine. I, I have a magazine today called Real Simple, the makeover issue. <laughs> oh, I love that. I've also got some things I've been collecting. I don't know if I'm going to use them. These came off of a product for uh, Jane Davenport. I just loved, and, and again, I'm just continuing to show you things that you could find. I loved how this was, had a little window. I don't know if I'm going to use it. I got a beautiful card from someone. I bought a bag, you know, just things. This is paper that I've used in wiping up, um, what is this? Um, well, like a paper towel? Yeah, paper towel. You know, just a paper towel with some colors that I've got on it and that I really like. So. I don't know exactly what's going to show up yet today. I love it. So your point is like whatever you got. Whatever you got. And, and you know, I've been thinking about this, of course, because we've been preparing it. But what I really have been, what I do is just pay attention. Just pay attention. You have things in your house that have been sitting around. They're trying to tell you something. Yeah. And you just uh, grab them and, and see what they have to tell you. Okay, so do you want us to go to the middle of the journal? Is that what you're wanting us to do right now? Well, no, actually what, I, uh, what I'm doing here is just arranging it on, the, on my workspace so that I'm sure everybody can see it. But what I've got here is I have a piece of paper, just a big, large piece of paper. 
Now you can use paper, you can use newsprint. I've used newsprint for this. You can use the colored, um, you can use the uh, uh, scrapbook pages. You can use whatever that you have. This, this happens to be big enough for me to, to fold the edges. And what I'm doing here is because I'm on camera, I'm just drawing a line to make sure that what I'm doing, you know, stays on the page. Okay, so we're making a cover right now, yeah? Yeah, we're gonna make a cover. So like ladies, for me, for example, I'm just gonna rip out some pages from my magazine. Um, and what I, you know, Kat, you said that it can change, your cover can change. So I think of this as like my first level or first layer. Mm -hmm. um, and I'm keeping in mind the intention of we're doing, you know, the retreat is woman unleashed and like what part of me I want to unleash or inspire or activate. Okay, and then how I start is here on the page, I start to write my intention about what I want to bring into the book. So I've been thinking a lot about retreat. I find it an interesting word, retreat to fight another day. There's sometimes things happen where I've got, I've, uh, in my own life, where I've had to just retreat to fight another day to get filled back up so that I can go out and react and to, to respond to something instead of reacting. Um, so what I do here is I just start to write about what, it, what is my intention around the retreat. In this case, for me, what's happening with this particular retreat is I want to, hold on, I've been doing a lot of writing here. I want to retreat, and what I want to, when, I, when I'm at the end of this Woman Unleashed, I want to unleash my writing ability, okay? I have some block about it. I can go into details of why I have the block, but the block still persists. So I want to unleash, unleash my writing ability. I love to write stories, uh, but I'm having trouble like writing, you know, letters or marketing or just, you know, and doing that without taking something to alter, you know, when I write like alcohol, chocolate, <laughs> you know, any of those things. And I want to be able to do it. So what I'm going to call in through this retreat and what I'm going to pay attention to is, is unleashing my writing ability. Now, if I were not on camera, I would write more about this on here. I would write, I would write why I have it. And then, and, and I would, uh, you know, just continue to journal on this page right here. What I always do, even if I don't, uh, if there isn't a reason to actually write all that down, what I do is I say, I end it with a prayer to please show me and I'm running out of ink, which I find so interesting. Please show me, tell me, heal me, inform me. I don't know what I need, so I just get it all out there. Even calm me, instruct me, whatever you think you might need and, and what you're not sure that you need. Let's see, please show me, tell me, heal me, inform me, Calm me, instruct me, free me. And you just keep writing. Um, I might use, which I'm not gonna use today because I don't want to uh, dry, I have to dry it. But I typically put gesso on the, um, put gesso on it so that the paint will slide, but you don't have to. And what I'm gonna do now is, as I mentioned, I'm using what I'm gonna do now is uh, I also have picked up, as I said, these papers that I've been using. And what I'm gonna do right now is I'm just going to pull these apart. If I can do it quickly. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull these apart so I get the different ply. And I'm going to use now, I want to share with you that I don't have a preconceived notion of what's going to go on here. This is like an extreme sport. <laughs> it could turn out really good or it could turn out really bad. But what I always know now is it turns out absolutely perfect and the way it's supposed to, you know, for that moment. Because doing this work is staying in the moment, which I don't know about you, but that can be pretty challenging for me sometimes because I want to, I'm worrying or getting ahead or, you know, getting out of that moment. So. Here we go. I'm just going to pull this out. 
Yeah, so Kat, I'm just gonna share kind of what I'm doing on my side too for people. So I'm, because I'm not doing a, like a paper like Kat's doing on hers, I am um, writing my intention on the inside cover. Cause my cover is actually, I can't, I can't write on it. Or I guess I could if I had a certain type of pen, but I don't have that type of pen. So I'm gonna write just on the inside of my cover, um, my intention. And niche. Okay, now what I've done while she's writing, what I've done is I'm putting down some fluid matte medium. You could also use Mod Podge. There's other things that you could also be using. And I like to use these brushes. They're inexpensive. I, I don't get upset with myself if I leave them out. <laughs> So for those of you that don't know what, what gesso is, gesso is like a, uh, what do you call it, cat? How do you have gesso to people that don't know? Uh, amber, uh, you know, something that goes underneath. What gesso allows you to do is to, it creates some tooth so that if you're using, so the paint has something to hold on to. And I'm creating some tooth right now by using these things. And as I say, you can use Mod Podge. I originally laid this down thinking that I was going to do it a certain way, but I've changed my mind. And that's the other thing about being doing this work, you know, especially is that, again, it's just that paying attention. And what I'm going to do is I, I really prefer just laying it down like this. It's way more interesting to me. It's just laying it down. I'm not paying too much attention now where everything is going. This doesn't need to be a big, this doesn't need to be a big production. If things aren't absolutely going down at this point. I'm not worrying about it because I'm going to go over the top of it. Big pieces, I like that. Let's get some blue in there, the contrast. Those pieces of bluer. What we call this is a portal. And what that means for a portal for me is that I'm getting rid the first, my first layer is always about getting rid of the white page. And, and uh, because there is this unleashing thoughts going on, um, because there are these unleashing thoughts going on, this is always interesting to do this while you talk. I really, really want to see the moment. What's that? I said, you're so funny. You're like, it's kind of interesting to do this while you're talking. I know, it, it always is because you gotta be sure you did your homework so nothing comes out of your you know, mouth you don't want. Because you're so funny. <laughs> <laughs> right? Nah, no, no censors, no censors. What's that? No censors, no censors. Oh, no, that's what I mean. I mean, there is no censoring. So as you can see, we're just playing, and I want to make this so that you can see it's just a riotous of color. Because what I find is, especially when I'm getting started, is all this color is just shifting whatever I'm feeling. I mean, particularly, and, and I want to tell you, for those of you down under, this is for you because I know it's not summer. I know that it is fall and I wanted to be sure and include you. And I wanted to be sure to address where you're at. Red is for you, blue is for those of us in the north. It looks like I'm gonna end up with more. Ooh, this is a pretty one. And we just keep doing this. We just keep adding and adding. And again, you could use mod. You don't have to use just this. Now, and I don't need to do this all. Right? That could be that could be enough. Now let me just take a step back. You can see what I might want to add. Because I am doing this really quickly. Mm -hmm. 
Okay. I do not know what my front or back side is. I have no idea. <laughs> For me, where I'm at is, um, you know, similar process to cat, but I'm doing some different, differently things, right? I'm doing things um, using collage. Um, so, but same type of thing is I put one layer down and I check and see where the next wants to go. So for me, I put a background layer down. I've got like these rocks here with a stream and then I put the woman in and I kind of just moved her around until I saw the stream was flowing into her mouth. I'm like, oh, I like that. So I glued her down, right? So now I'm going back through my pictures. I just pulled out like not very many, four or five pictures and words and see if there's anything else that wants to go, go in here. I'm not sure. <laughs> right. And it's all about listening, isn't it? It's yeah. Listening. And you're watching us do this pretty quickly, but if I were not doing this on camera, I might be taking a little more time just to listen about where things want to go or if more things need to be there. I am listening. There's some orange here. I am listening, but I'm also paying attention to like fire, because this is fire and water. Um, while I'm doing this, I'm also asking the question of what is it that I need to know about fire and water? And why does fire and water want to show up in my life right now? Okay, let's see. That's interesting how that does that over that. Kind of liking it. Yeah. I'm noticing that I, I don't necessarily like this part. So I don't worry about it. You just keep going. You just keep going. And I think that's going to do it for now. Now, this is going to take a while to dry because I have so much matte medium I've got on here. And I don't want to, while we're doing this here, Turn on that pesky dryer for you to hear. Kat, gonna... If you want to cut, you could. You could just mute your um, audio if you want. Okay, let me do that. Yeah, and then I can just talk to y'all ladies while Kat's doing her blow drying action. So yes, how to make things dry quicker? Blow dryer. <laughs> You're trying to get them to. So um, I, already, I did the front of mine. And this is what I got. Um, I know it's a little shiny here, but here, it's like a, a stream going into her mouth and it says brave is. And so I'm already getting the message um, while I was making this that brave is nourishing myself. That's my message so far for the front. Ta -da! Now I'm moving to the back of my journal. Oh, hey, this is called, what is this? Our, Cats blow drying, but this is, I think, I forget what it's called. I think it's called a brayer or something, but you can get them like, it's kind of like what people use for doing um, wallpaper, but it's kind of, it, if you ever get any bubbles, it's kind of fun to like use to crank out your bubbles. See, isn't that cool? Cute little, cute little tang. So I'm using that. And now I'm coming to the back. I'm seeing what, what message is gonna come on the back here. And I'm, again, I'm just kind of going through different things and seeing. So I'm not really getting anything here. There's something that's supposed to go here. I don't know what. So, um, oh, I have this other thing. This was my, an old Wee Moon from 2012. Wee Moon has like the most amazing art in it. I love to, oh, hello. Oh, my goodness. That's what's supposed to come. Here, I got like all the different like phases of the butterfly here. So apparently I'm supposed to cut these out and put some of this in. So just listening. Okay, so I have that dry amber. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna lay down just some color. And again, I'm listening too. like what, what wants to happen? Do I want to stay wet? Do I want it to stay wet? Because this could be my front. This could be back. 
And because it's my first layer, you may not even see this. You may not even see this. But let me do this. I've got some, I'm using, I don't know how to say the name exactly, the Nathricone Blue, which I really love. It's one I've been using a lot of these days. And all I'm going to do is put some over here on my palette. And I'm going to water it down just a little bit because I love the watered down look. I'm still going to use the same brush with the matte medium on it. Because again, I'm just, I'm just creating layers. And also, the other thing is I'm listening to you also. While Amber and I are doing this, we are still in the sacred space with you as we do this. So I'm also listening. And for me, let's see, I need some of this blue in my life, this live, vivacious blue. And I'm just kind of moving it. Oh, look at that. Okay, here's what you want to be listening for. When I put this blue down, I start to get, be able to breathe again. And that's what I'm looking for, is just breath. You know, be able to, to get some breathing space, particularly since we're talking about retreat, right? Just, oh my goodness, all of our lives are so busy, so full of things. Oh man, that is working for me. Oh yeah. This may, this is probably as far as I'm going to get today. And that is working. I'm going to go mute for a minute here and try this again. Yeah. So ladies, what I just want to sh share with you is that, you know, this retreat, even this journal, there's so many ways to play during the retreat, right? That we're going to have speakers coming on talking about different things. And I'm just encouraging you to let this be like the place where you stick stuff inside. Yeah. If you get a message during the retreat and you're like, Oh, and you, you know, it's like a different la layer of knowing and you're like, Oh, I'm supposed to put that in my journal. You know, you can like change some of the, the outside of your journal. Like Kat said, like it's, you know, shifting for her. Yeah. You can also be, that um like cash she'll show you in a little bit her different smash books so you can see you know how she takes in information so when you're listening to a speaker you don't have to just take notes and i'll talk i'll show you this at a, a different session our first session um but you can you know take notes in your way and that might be by collage it might be by you know whatever you're doing like some of the processes we're doing are movement processes some are art processes some are like mini workshops and you might want to be taking notes you know so there's, there's lots of different ways look at that so Amber, i have this finished as i want it to be right now and the way i cover the book is the way i cover the book is the old school technique we used to use by cutting it in half by not cutting by folding it in half let me get this off here real quick. By cutting this in half, I keep saying that because I've tried to cut this edge. By folding it in half, I'm not worried about how these edges are coming. So folding it in half, getting the book in the center. I'm gonna take a quick look. Well, actually at this point, I don't really need to decide. And then I'm going to fold over the edges. I'm going to fold over the edge here and here. And this is always where the surprise is coming for me. And here. And then I'm going to open it up and do the same thing here. We used to use brown paper bag, which by the way is really great also to cover your books, your books in and paint over. That craft paper is just fabulous. Then I'm going to fold it just a little bit, because I have a tendency to do that a little tight, just a little bit more. A little bit more here. I'm not worried about this here. And then we're going to fold it here where we have it. So I'm creating a pocket, right? And if I find, I might cut off this edge here after and cut off this guy. Here. I might cut off these edges 
I don't know. And now I take a look at the composition that I've got. And I ask, hmm, hmm, are you the front? Oh, I love that. Are you the front? Oh, I can't decide. Okay, so I don't have to decide because the way I'm going to do the book is I'm going to slip this in here now. By putting the pocket, I might change what is the front later. There it is, slipped into the pocket. And slip this other side into the pocket. Typically what I also do, oh man, I love this amber. Oh, it's just, you know what? It's calling in Hawaii. That's what's happening. I'm, I'm, cha I'm channeling Hawaii. Yes. Yeah, look at that. That's what's happening. Oh, look at the red volcanic. Oh, I love it. And that's kind of how you want to feel about yours. Like, oh yeah. Just even this abstraction. I can see compositionally it needs a little bit more, but oh, it's great. Okay, so then typically the next thing I do is I will glue this down so that the edges are down. You can see that. And I do that to the back because I, in my smash, in, in my journaling, I really don't want to see this, uh, this information here because it evokes for me the mathematical programmer part of me, which is not typically what I want to bring into this at the time. Okay, so we have it covered and we're ready for the next step. I'm not gonna do it to this one because I've got some ready to go here to, to show you. The next step is I would take, what I would do is I take the pages, well, I can't show you here. I take the pages, I use a glue stick, and I start gluing the pages together. Now this is really um, for people that have, like if you're using composition books or regular notebooks, but if people have like, thick pages already like for mine for example i've got you know watercolor paper that's already pretty thick then i don't necessarily need to do that right correct so that is correct and but, so we're doing this for two reasons one i'm making the paper stronger because this will take a lot of punishment when you do it that way so you go through and you do that to the whole book once you've completed doing that to the whole book you then want to do what we call smashing the pages and smashing the pages looks like this. I've got, let's see, I could do that here. So after you do that, smashing the pages looks like this. Now, but before I do it, I wanna talk a little bit about this. This type of journaling, as all journaling, is to crush the perfectionist. It is also, and for some of you, this may be a challenge, and I want you to think about, this used to be a tree in a forest, where there was a river, where there were birds and squirrels and foxes. And what we are doing when we crunch these pages, it was we are releasing the latency of all of that that was captured. And the way that we smash them is we smash them like this. Every, in this case, I have not put the two pages together. And you do this to every single page. And while you're doing this, you're bringing in your intention. My intention is to free myself from the bondage of fear of writing. I'm sick of it. And so as I do this, what it sounds like is, thank you for freeing me. Please show me how to free myself. I'm continuing to pray into every page. Because what has happened is when we were gluing the pages together, we were getting our DNA on every single page by touching it when we glued it down. And now we have sound, which I know for some people is challenging. It, it's bringing in sound. And what we're going to do with the rest of the book is continue to bring in our senses. So you do that to every book, you do that to every page. And what you end up with. It's a book that is really, really fluffy. This particular book has been used and what happens after they get really, really fluffy is they start to settle in with the weight of the information that you get. And, um, and that's, that's just really a beautiful thing. This is kind of the inside of one of my uh, writing uh, 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 journals. So what have we done? So we've created a cover. We have put the pages together by touching them. We have created sound. 
And now what we're going to do is we're going to take one of our books and we are going to gild the edges. Now, what I mean by gilding the edges is that in this case, I'm going to take the paint that I used. I would close my eyes and select three colors. In this case, I'm going to use what I have over here. I'm going to get it nice and juicy. I like it really, really juicy because when I gild the edges with all this juiciness, like so, it gets down into the pages. It gets down into the pages and creates these luscious edges so that you already have something on the page that you can start with. I find it interesting that I'm using the blue and this red. So it ends up looking like this. And once I'm done with this one, and I am really, like I say, I'm a paint slinger. I didn't put my, <laughs> I'm wearing a nice shirt, so I gotta be pay attention or I end up, I end up slinging this paint everywhere. I will wait for this to dry and then I will go back in and I will add gold, I will add other color. And as you can see, look at the edges have already become just juicy from the, from the gilding. Okay. So and now one, Ted, I want to just tell, show people what I'm doing on this side, right? So I'm not using paint ladies, but I am um, using a marker and I'm just markering the edge, the edges here. And I haven't smashed all the pages. I'm not, I haven't actually decided if I'm going to smash all the pages. I did smash some of them. <laughs> so, um, but like it reminds me because I've worked with kids with this process that Kat does. She's doing a, she'll be doing a certification soon um, for teachers. But um, with kids, sometimes I run across kids that get like, they get really upset about like smashing the pages, right? It's like, you know, there's that piece of like, I tell them, okay, you can smash like half the book and the other half of the book, let it be, right? So it's like kind of letting, giving some room for your, if there, if you have that perfectionist side, that's like, no way, I'm not going to do this at all. Like just smash a couple pages, you know, just do some. And if you go for gangbusters and go for it gangbusters, it's so pretty, this is your book when it's all smashed up and, and ready to go, so. All right, Kat, where are we going next? And then where we go next is ribbons. The, I choose ribbons to go in here. And the ribbons are here for a couple of reasons. One is I have done many covers where I thought, mm, uh, I don't know, I don't particularly like that one. And what happens with the ribbons is it activates it. It does some form of activization. And where the ribbon, you see, I can, I've already added something onto this one because you're going to add trinkets to it. And in this case, like every eight pages, you want to go ahead and put in ribbon. You can put the, tie the ribbon up on top. You could tie it on the side. You could let it hang. I've seen people let it hang all the way over the bottom. I, I used to do it that way, but I stopped simply because it doesn't sit on the shelf. So I, um, I will tie it on the side, I will tie it on the top, and I will put in the ribbons in them. And just go ahead and tie them up like so. And I make a really simple, this one has all kinds of sparkly in it and it's getting all over the place. And of course, I love it. <laughs> I might make a bow here. So you're, you're taking the ribbon through the book and then out on the outside edge, yeah? Yes, and the reason, as I say, is to activate, but the other reason why you do it is that as these books get heavier, as you add more things, as you add more things in them, it also helps the pages to stay in the binding of the book. Then the next thing that we do, so we brought in touch and sound, we brought in uh, additional uh, colors for, to activate the book. I've got a book that's going here. And the next thing that we wanna bring in is fragrance. I heard Amber mention frankincense, which I almost put in because frankincense is for, um, oh, I forget what it says on the front, but I needed something calming. So I'm gonna go ahead 
and put lavender in mine. I also like to use my perfume. Now I'm bringing in smell. And you just bring, I, I add it in a lot. Because my, you can smell my books before you see them. And I really like that. And then once we've completed that, the next thing that we want to do is we want to do taste. Now, normally I use chocolate, but I really try to stay away from chocolate right now. So I'm going, <laughs> you can laugh, but hey, I'm going with mini sweet peppers. Look at those colors. These guys are kind of wearing out. Uh, so they're going to end up in a soup, but I just love the colors. And what I did was I pulled out the, <laughs> I pulled this out. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to tape this into the book. I'm going to tape this into the book, but normally it might be a covering for a chocolate bar. It might be, you know, whatever. I've never used vegetables before, but I'm working on self-care. So I think this is an, an improvement. And also the other thing is that I'm calling in for freedom which isn't about my writing, but obviously there's more that's going on and one is about better eating, getting more fruits and vegetables. And these things just show up. And once they show up like this, it just becomes a way of, of uh, not being able to ignore it. So that is a really quick demo on how to build a cosmic smash booking, how to build a cosmic smash book. Um, I encourage you, there are so many ways of doing this and it is really a great pleasure to be with you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Kat. I would love if you would just take a moment just to show us the inside of some of your smash books to get the ladies some ideas of things they can do. Um, would you be willing just to do, show some of that? That'd be so cool. So here's what I'm currently working on. Oh, and you can tell, look at it, it's get beat, they get beaten up. Um, I know that something is gonna go in here. Uh, let's see, my intention on this one has, I've been going through something pretty rough. I can show you how to make pockets. Um, let me just show you. This, here's a collage that I did. Do you want me to turn this around? Is it easier if I turn it around, Amber? Yeah. So this one here um, was me processing. Sorry, Kat, mm -hmm. turn it back. Sorry, turn it back the other way. It's upside down now. So here yep. is, um, so here I used collage to process some things I was going through. Uh, fairies were showing up. Uh, here I'm learning to do, um, I'm working through a portrait. Um, all of these have intention behind it. Sacred clown showed up. I still am not sure why that happened. This is my gingerbread Madonna <laughs> that showed up. Here, uh, uh, eyes wide open, I'm listening, I'm paying attention. Resting pages on my website. Uh, I've got a video on how to create resting pages. Resting pages are how I process feelings that I don't have answers for. I don't have, I just need to rest the feeling long enough to go pay the bills, to show up for my job for, for different things. Here's one here and when I was done, I don't know if you could see it, I put a dark hand over my heart because it just was so heavy and I just had to, give myself a chance to breathe. Balloons represent releasing and joy and giving away. Uh, a page I was working on, just showing you how I create these pages. I was playing with color here. Um, this particular one was opening doors, uh, for uh, opening doors. The door, this particular one was during the Easter season and the idea was, it, is to plant seeds and at the end of the month open the door to see what uh, it, uh, comes to you. This particular one here, I uh, just this one, New Beginnings, Cracking the Cosmic Egg. And notice, I give up beauty. This is not my artwork. This is not what I do on canvas. This is not what I do on panels. This is what I do in my journal. This is all about gaining information for myself. It is not about setting the composition correct or making sure the colors are correct. Here I am, <laughs> I finally started to take action. This is the back of a woman uh, having to do with uh, working more on my health. Another resting page, things show up that go in here, the bubbles for that. The one page I wanna show you is one, 
So here are some pages. I went to an event. I also used this to take notes in. And when I went to an event, I met these young uh, girls and I couldn't wait for them to put their childlike, innocent, confident hands into my book. Things were given to me and I included them on the side. But the one I've been working on is this one. Now for a smash page, this is very busy. You know, or for, for a composition, it's very busy, but it's very, very important. It's me dealing with a revolution face on my knees, dog paws. Can you see the legs that are here? Walking, starting to walk, rebirth. So again, this is just very, very busy. All right, beauties. Is, we will see you yeah. when the retreat starts. I'm so excited. Cannot wait to see your journals. Below is also the um, link to our Facebook group. So take a picture of your journal, what you're coming up with, and share in the group so we can celebrate. Yay!